Hey everybody, Gravy Train here with another episode of Gravy Training. Today, uh, the Pygneus Epic has been released, and because I love you guys once again, I have picked it up, and I'm going to do a Hero Spotlight slash Epic review of Pygneus. So, here we go. Here's Pygneus. He's a beast demon tank. There's, uh, Pygneus has always been kind of at most like a sea hero, or at least since I've been playing, he's been at most like a sea hero. Um, I mean, he's a decent tank. Um, I think they still need to give him a bit of an overhaul. Not, I mean, pro probably about as much as they gave any of the other heroes recently, just kind of a little push. Um... But, I mean, we'll see what the Epic does for him and, and how it performs. I haven't actually even taken him into a battle yet because I wanted to get the review together and all that stuff. So, why is his... That can't be right. Is his stuff so low? Superior, superior. Oh, because this one is a four-star. That sucks. Um, I guess it doesn't matter, though. Um, anyhow... So, yeah, I mean, he kind of suffers because a lot of his stuff is more geared towards beasts than demons. But he will still get the demon synergy. He'll get the extra attack from Zulk. Um, all in all, I think it's going to be pretty solid. So, um, let's look at it. So what I've got him is I've got him ruined. Um, since he has the Sucker Punch ability already, I figured... This would go well with him to kind of maximize his Sucker Punch damage, which is effectively 10 per, plus 10% 10 damage per debuff on enemies on basic attacks. So, I guess technically it's not going to stack with the other one because that won't be a basic attack. Maybe it's not, like, the most important thing. But I pulled these off of um, Zulk because Zulk is generally not making too many basic attacks anyways. So, I think it'll work out. So, he's got that. I've got a tank rune on him for the defense and the defense buff. Guardian rune for the defense, the defense buff. And I threw a shield piercing on him. Um, so, his stats should be fairly balanced. Like, yeah, he'll have 20k defense or 19k defense. 10,000 offense. Um, it's not bad. Um, I mean, there's stronger tanks out there, like, really... But um, right now, that, that's not terrible. So let's look at his abilities. So he is armored. Means he's going to take less damage from physical attacks, but he's going to take more damage from Therund. Uh, Hog Wild. So there's a 50% chance for an extra attack for all allied beasts. Um, I'm assuming that's on any attack, but... We're not going to be running with beasts, and this is where I was talking about before. Like he's probably better overall paired with beasts. Beasts really aren't strong right now, so I'm pairing him with demons instead. Burning touch. He's got a chance to burn on basic attacks. That's fine. Team precision. So he is going to boost crit damage for all allies, which is going to be kind of nice. Pack Tactics, boosted damage to Ogres, chance to retaliate any attack against another beast. Once again, they should make this beast or demon. Um, they should really make all of these things since he's both, instead of catering to one or the other. And then Beastly Taunt, when he's on a team with Solaris, start the dungeon taunting. Well, we're not going to be on a team with Solaris, so... Uh, you can definitely run him that way. He could probably run fairly well with, um, say... Solaris, um, I don't know, probably Grognog, and, I mean, either, like, Leo or, um, Gortusk or something, but, I mean, there's not a lot of DPS there, so I wouldn't really kind of go that route. I'd, I'd stick to keeping him with demons. His abilities, so he's got his basic attack. Uh, which ties to his epic. So his epic gives him 30% more defense, 20% more max health, which is garbage, and 20% attack. 
So as far as stats goes, I mean, he's a tank. He should have defense. He should have attack. The health is kind of meaningless. And and when I say health is meaningless, I mean, when you look at the damage that heroes do, like Jin or Therand or any of these heroes, uh, Malice, that can hit for upwards of 100,000 points of damage, you are much better off. You get a lot more value by increasing your defense and ignoring your health because what is 2000 health addition against 200,000 damage nothing so health is effectively useless except for heroes like Kra or Kozar where they get some specific benefit to like they both turn health into attack power um, that kind of thing. And even then, it's only more of a like an afterthought than it is a, a strategy. So the health isn't really a big deal. The defense is huge, and the attack is good. Um, and then he has a 30% chance to deal 3x damage, burn the target, and allies gain bonus attack, defense, and crit. So let's break this down. Um, 3x chance on a basic attack to do or 30 percent chance to do 3x damage it'll remain to be seen if that's before or after all of the stuff is in there so well, actually it should be after so any of that sucker punch damage on the runes should be factored in before the 3x if it's 3x base damage that's dooku or dookie so i'm not i'm hoping it's not that um and then allies gain the bonus attack defense and crit Never say no to more attack, more defense, and more crit. So, not bad. So here's Sucker Punch, the one we've been talking about already. Melee physical attack for 2577 base damage, plus 100% damage for each debuff on the target. So this, technically the other one isn't technically Sucker Punch. It's similar to Sucker Punch. This means that if there is one debuff on the target... He's going to do, what is that, like 5184. Um, if there's two, then he, I mean, I'm not going to keep doing all the math in my head, but he's going to do a lot more damage the more debuffs are on the target. You pair him with demons, so you're automatically going to get the sacrifice debuff. You're going to start getting burn debuffs and all that other stuff. So he can potentially, with this attack alone, do some pretty darn good damage if you can stack on the debuffs. Uh, Bestial Roar, kind of eh, but it raises allies' attack, defense, and crit by 42%. All beasts then attack a random enemy, so he will attack a random enemy. enemy. The There is some benefit to this. This one should stack with Jin, with Craw, with iris with ember like any of those other ones because this is a distinct buff on its own so this one should actually be pretty decent you could be getting an extra 43 percent attack and defense and 42 percent crit Um, that's crit total, so if you've got 50% crit, you're basically getting almost 50% more. So you're looking at like 75% crit chance, that's pretty good. Um, and then finally, Burning Taunt. So it taunts, forces enemies to target this hero with attacks, duh. And he has a 78% chance of burning the attacker. Um... So basically he gets a really high value burning skin. So that's just a chance to apply more debuffs. The burn effect, it does lower defense. So that is a benefit. It is a little bit of a defense debuff. But it's not that great. I mean, it's, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not that great. Um, so that's it. That's Pigneus. So my plan when I was rooting him up was that I'm going to pair him up with demons. So, Zulk is a guarantee, Malice is a guarantee, and then I've been playing around a bit with 
the idea of using furnace and it's kind of fortuitous that I have furnace ruined the way that I do now because furnace is set up to be a debuff spreader so I have furnace and I will do a, a video on him but his runes basically I've got chance to burn chance to burn chance to add an extra attack chance to shock and chance to purge a buff I could change this to a disease um, matter of fact I'm going to change this to a disease to fit with the theme more because if he can apply a bunch of these status effects then I've got to find I have one disease rune hopefully I didn't put it somewhere else which means I would have to find it if so I'll just put the other one back on there um, runes now well and if that's the case I'm just gonna put a warrior rune back on him that he has that chance to do so he'll only do a couple of status effects but he does this all of his basic attacks are AE they attack the whole enemy party you've got a good chance of, of putting out at least burning um, I really need to I'm in the off time I'm gonna put a disease rune on here and I'm gonna look for maybe a poison rune I think I got rid of my poison rune though um, but I'll find another rune to basically to put status effects out so that will be my team so we'll go ahead and come in here. Oh, somebody, oh, they've been beating my defense. Okay. Fair enough. I will tweak that. So let's see what we got here. So I'm going to clean this up. Let's put Zulk first, although he'll be first anyways doesn't matter we're going to use probably put him third so let's go with malice second guarantee that it's gonna work or anything else um, I mean I can already tell you right now don't spend the money on this particular epic I don't think that it makes him that much more powerful than he was so straight up TLDR, I wouldn't buy the Epic, or I would buy the, the $20 version if you like really want to get it early, and then you can get it up to level 5. I wouldn't spend the 100 bucks on this, um, just as a kind of point of, of uh, thinking. So, uh, first one doesn't matter. Now, mind you, they did fix the, the uh, Zulk problem, so that is going to be a little bit better. I'm going to try to take out Dagrand and succeeded and he gets rezzed. That's fine. Oh, okay, so, well that puts him back at full. So, he's got a bunch of debuffs, but he is got an Age of Shield, so I'm going to taunt right now and now we're gonna do a basic attack to pop all those shields and this one isn't looking too great so we're going to ditch Dagrand When Pygnius dies, that'll come up again, which it will right now. Um, let's taunt here. Let's banish Emily. <laughs> yeah, so I think the verdict is ugh, he shouldn't have come back. Uh, until next round. Yeah. 
I'll run a couple more. We'll, we'll change a few things up here. Um, we'll try it with Gin instead of Furnace, just to give him a fair shake. Let's see what that does. Because the, actually the Shocked ability will be another debuff. So let's pop Daggerin in a hole. Daggerin go down the hole. Right, let's take out Jin. He gets spanked by Theron. Alright, so we won this battle in spite of Pygnius. And in this one, this team shouldn't be a problem. Um, I'm gonna take Igneous or take Jin out, and just for a little change of pace, I don't have any other demons ruined, so I'm not gonna put a demon in, but. We could put in Furno to apply a wildfire burning. So that'll be another debuff. I'm not sure that that's going to have all that much an effect. I mean, the problem is, is that it, it only works, like it doesn't stack with the other ones. It only works really well if they have extra, um, I'm going to banish him because he's a pain in the ass. Um, it only really works if you can stack on and stack on and stack on the damage, and I'm not sure that I will be. So there's a debuff here, a debuff here. Um, let's take out Baylog, and not soon enough. Uh, which means I have shield piercing, that should kill him. What is that? Oh, it's bestial rage. Nice. So, alright. There's our increased attack and crit and all that stuff. Let's throw some burning out there. Alright, apparently with shield piercing. I don't believe she is armored. not and that'll finish it so all in all i'm not going to run any more battles here i think it's pretty clear this epic is not really something you want to pay for i would wait to see it come out on boss island and go from there they, unless they overhaul them now usually they've done some overhauls with these heroes when they release the epic like they did for Obressa got a little bit and and all of that, so maybe it'll be worth it then and I'll make some sort of addendum or some sort of notice about that. But otherwise, I would wait until you can get this on Boss Island. So this has been Gravy Train with an episode of Gravy Training. Thanks for your likes, your, your subscriptions, and your support. Peace.